Welcome to this video on table borders in Google Docs. So I've got a Google document here, I've got an invoice template that I've been working with and you can see there that I've added in a table to help format the lines of my invoice and the costs and everything else to make it all look like it's it's nice and clean, it's got the same levels on there, each section starts at the right time but the table looks a bit clunky and I don't really want to show that on my invoice. When I PDF it and send it across, I want it to be nice and clean. I don't want to see the lines. I've just added it that way to help it really get that formatting nice and sleek and clean and accurate. So I'm going to play around with these and show you a few things that I would do. So I'm just going to select all of my table. Now you've got two options here. You can either right click and go to table properties which is what I'm going to do here so right click in there and at the bottom I'm going to go to table properties and then in the color section right at the bottom you can see the table border and it's currently on one point and what I'm going to do is drop that to zero and then if I click away you can see I've now no, no longer got those borders there's no lines on that table but that table is still there if I just click and select it you can see how it sort of works. You can see how it's there. I can still add rows and I can add columns and I can do what I need to do, but the formatting will be there, but there's no borders. But actually it's not really, I want to do a few extra bits and there's another way that you can work with borders as well. So if I select, let's say I'm going to select this top row, just the top row there. In the top right hand corner of the box that I've selected, there's a little drop down. And when I click, you'll be able to see some border options as well. So you can add them all back in. You can add the inside borders, the outside borders or specific ones. Now I want the lower border. So I want the, a border at the bottom of this row. So when I select that, you can see there's a blue line there. But if I click away, nothing's happened because I haven't told... I haven't told Google Docs how thick I want that line to be. So let's go back and do that again. Let's just select that area. Click on that little drop down arrow and select the bottom. And then what I'm going to do in this bar that's appeared at the top, you can see the color and then you can see the border width. Now in here is what I'm going to select. So it was one. So I'm going to put it back to one, click away. And now you can see that borders reappeared back in there. What I also want to do is have a border above my total. So if I select those two cells and click on that little drop down, I'm going to use the top one. And again, I need to go to the top to border width and tell it how big I want it to be. But you can also add different widths of borders as well. So if you just want a, a bit more of a faint line just to separate some things, Let's select that, that row with training design on it, click on the drop down and have a bottom again. But instead of selecting one point, I'm going to do a half a point just so you can see. It's actually made no difference on this one, but sometimes there is a difference in, in the thickness and you can visually see it at that point. So it's just really easy where you can add those borders back in if you want to. Um, but if you're taking them away, you're going to go to table properties and just get rid of them. And then you can just re-add the ones in that you want to work with. I find that the most, the, the easiest way to do it is to get rid and then just add the ones that I want. And you can really play around with that. And if you just want to get rid of them all again, just select all of it. Go to control, table properties there and just get rid and zero. Point it out and they're all gone again. And you can obviously re-add all of them in if you want to as well. So a couple of ways to play around with the table borders by using control and going into table properties and then just selecting the cells that you want in your table and clicking on that drop down and selecting the border option you want. But just remember, once you've selected that, you must go up to the top and tell the system what width you want on that border. So have a go at that one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.